Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the Freak Show. I got nothing. Anyway, it's Battle Brothers back again, ladies and gentlemen. Warriors of the North DLC is dropping May 9th. I have it now because Overhype Studios is fantastic. Awesome. I love them. They probably like me slightly. I don't know. It's totally fine. I had a setup video go out yesterday, and I have a whole bunch of people who signed up. I'm not going to go with the traditional first come, first serve quite. Uh, like, I'll, I'll pull a couple of those. But since there's, you know, I didn't do like a, hey, here's an announcement of the sign-up video that's going to drop at this time so people were ready, I am going to randomly select a few names. In fact, I've already done so. And we're going to hop in and we're going to start. We're going to begin from basically the title screen. So strap in, guys and gals. We'll see how it goes. I wasn't sure on the embargo date or, you know, I had to wait until closer to release or whatever. I am free to go. I'm good to go. So we're going to go. Um, I have about 10 to 12 episodes left of the previous season. So they'll be getting aired daily, possibly twice a day, until it runs its course. So you guys will see a lot of Battle Brothers coming your way. All right, what are we looking at here, ladies and gentlemen? I believe this is kind of one of the first new things that you're going to find in the Warriors of the North DLC. There are new starting conditions, or company origins, as they call it. I have not actually looked at any of these. I just saw that they existed, and I was like, ooh, that's cool. So I probably, I know there's one where we're the Northern Raiders. It's probably going to be the one that I go with, but we'll take a quick look through each of these. And then you guys can have a better idea of what you might want to do when you guys grab the DLC. Alright, rebuilding a company is probably the default scenario. That's my assumption. You are second in command in a mercenary company that has been tracking the brigand named Hogart the Weasel for some time now. An unexpected turn of events leaves the company in shatters. I would say tatters there, but that's fine. And you, in charge to rebuild it to its former glory. Alright, uh, a new company. After years of uh, bloodying your sword for meager pay, you've saved enough crowns to start your very own mercenary company. I like this too. Uh, with you are three experienced mercenaries with whom you fought side by side in the shield wall before. A quick start into the world without any particular advantages or disadvantages. So you get to go through kind of the tutorialized thing, recommended for new players, helpful guidance at the beginning, kind of an easy story start where you get some, you know, it's the traditional thing. So this is a bit less so. So no real advantages or disadvantages. Just hop in and go, and you don't even have to play the Hogart the Weasel little mini scenario there. Then, this is probably going to be terrible. But it's probably going to be what we do. I have no idea how any of this is going to work out. Oh, it even shows the skull ratings. Oh, that's cool. Sorry. Um, For all your adult life, you've been raiding and pillaging in these lands. But with the local peasantry poor as mice, you may want to finally expand into the profitable field of mercenary work. That is, if your potential employers are willing to forgive your past transgressions. Alright, uh, we have Warband. Start with three experienced barbarians. Yeah! Start with bad reputations to most human factions. Eh, not so good. And Pillagers. You have a higher chance to get any items from slain enemies as loot. We're absolutely going that way, though I really like the rest of what I'm reading here. It's it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to try every single one of these. I don't know that I'll ever be able to try all of them, like, on camera, but they all look pretty cool. Like, I want this one. Like, this is the one I'm, I'm actually sadly and oddly most excited about. I don't know why, but I really like this one. It started as a ragtag militia made up of anyone brave or desperate enough to volunteer for defending their homes but has grown into a small army. An army that needs to be fed each day. Perhaps the militia's services could be rented out. Peasant armies start with a roster of 12 poorly equipped peasants. Oh man, that's going to be rough. Take up to 16 men into battle. What? At once and have up to 25 in your roster? Why can't? No, I want to do that. Let me do that. Aww. Curse you and giving me northern raiders that I have to play. Oh, that's so cool. All right, um... And dirty peasants can never hire anyone that isn't a lowborn peasant. Oh my god, that's that's fantastic. That's so good. Oh, thank you, Overhype Studios. Oh my god. Oh, I want. I'm 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 playing that on my. I might stream that. That might have to be a live stream. 
For too long have you dragged from one bloody battle to another at the whim of lords sitting in high towers. Last night you absconded from the camp together with three others. You're dressed like soldiers still, but you're deserters. And the noose will be your end if you stay here for too long. Alright, so we're deserters. We start with three deserters and, descent, and decent armor. Descent armor. Uh, but lower funds and a noble house that wants to hunt you down. Well, that sounds bad. First to run. Your men are always first to act in the very first round of combat. What? That's amazing, too! Oh, I love that. Alright. Band of poachers. The fact that, like, the noble house is going to hunt you down. This is so good. I never even thought of anything like this. This is this is great. Fantastic. I'm sure other people might have thought of this. This is really cool. For years, you've made a decent living by poaching in local wild wood, or sorry, the local woods or wild ones, what I was going to say, uh, evading your lord's men by being quick. It's, it's Robin Hood. Quick on your feet, but pickings have become slimmer and slimmer, and you're faced with the decision. How to make a living when all you know is how to use a bow. Hunters, start with a group of three woodsmen. Oh, that's cool. Expert scouts, you move faster and can always get a scouting report for any enemies near you. Nice. And traveling light, you carry less items in your company's inventory. All right, so there's a little bit of a downside. That's really cool, though. I like that. Trading care. I'm sorry, guys. This first episode's probably just gonna be me gushing about all the cool new things, and it's gonna take quite a long time for us to get through all this stuff. But as you guys know, all subsequent episodes will flow much quicker because we'll be in the meat of the game and all that stuff. So bear with it, and I will probably put another episode up a few hours after this one so you guys get a bit more gameplay with what I do. So take this, enjoy it for what it is, and then, you know, there'll be more to come. So hopefully we won't get those rude people who are like, gameplay starts at 12 minutes and 32 seconds. It's like, guys, just enjoy the video. It's, that's what it's here for, right? You're running a small trading caravan and have most of your crowns invested into trading goods. But the roads have become dangerous. Brigands and greenskins lay in ambush. There's rumors of even worse things out there. Start with two caravan hands in your employ. That's, that's not bad, or employ, or, or imploded-ness. Trader, get 10% better prices for buying and selling. That's nice. Not a warrior. Start with no renown and gain renown at half the normal rate. That's still cool. I see, like... I, lo I love these additions. They're so good. Now, this is creepy and weird and interesting. Davkul awaits. You lead a small flock devoted to the Elder God, and it's time to spread the word. Find more followers, acquire riches, and please Davkul with sacrifices. Cultists, uh, let's see, they start with a group of four cultists with poor equipment. More cultists may flock to you for free. Nice. Sacrifices. Davkul will occasionally demand sacrifices from you, but also bestow boons upon you or upon those that are loyal to him. Okay. Creepy, but awesome and also creepy. Lone Wolf. This also is kind of cool. This is I could see the Colonel doing this one just for the lulls, and then he'll die and be sad, but I can see him doing it. You've you've been traveling alone for a long time, taking part in tourneys and sparring with young nobles. A hedge knight tall as a tree. You never needed anybody for long. Is it true still? Start with a single experienced hedge knight and great equipment below funds. You never have more than 12 men in your roster. If your hedge knight dies, the campaign ends? That's so cool. Hmm. I kind of just want to go random too. Ah, oh, there's so many cool things. Uh, you and your men make your living by hunting down the many beasts that beset villages on the fringes of civilization. It's dangerous work, but it pays well enough. There's always a bigger beast to slay and more crowns to earn. Start with three beast slayers, decent equipment, as well as some beast trophies. See tracks from further away. Each beast you slay has a 25% chance to drop an additional trophy, okay? However, prejudice. Most people don't trust your kind, so you get 10% worse prices. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be the Northern Raiders. I want the Peasant Militias so bad. All right, we're going to be the Northern Raiders. I also want this. Don't get me wrong. I really do want this. Uh, we're going to go with Random Permanent Destruction. Sure. Map Seed. Yep. Battle. Ooh, I didn't think of a name. Um... Uh... All right, I got it. Northarians. I'm sure I spelled it wrong, but it's my own name and phrase, so I can spell it however I want. 
All right, what do we have? Ooh, they got a dragon. I like dragons. All right, uh, what else we got? Uh, a bunch of the normal, old school ones. Just a few. That is that is disturbing on many levels. Just a black crow. You know what? I think the black crow. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna do that. There's the map seed. If you guys want to play the same thing that I'm playing, feel free. We're gonna begin. I am moving up to a veterancy status. I'm probably gonna keep. You know what? We're gonna do it all the way across the board. And again, in case I lose things or something stupid, I I, I don't like using Iron Man mode. And I can't do fun things like, oh, there's a Lindworm that I know I totally can't kill. Let's see what that battle's like. Or, I wonder if I'll die if I go on this ridiculously long uh, caravan trip in the middle of a noble war. I did. So, for enjoyment purposes for me, I'm going to keep it as not Iron Man. Plus, if there's any corruptions, I run out of hard drive space. I do something stupid like leave my Chrono.gg logo up. Huh? Huh? Go there, guys. Every day, there's a new deal. Get games for real cheap and help support the channel. Nudge, nudge, poke, poke, hint, hint. Anyway, in case I do dumb stuff like that, this prevents it. Anyway, I, I say that every time, so you guys know. We're going to go medium down the board. Oh, God. I, I really don't want to change my starting funds, but we're going to do it because of reasons. Oh, God, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm really excited, too. Real excited. All right, come on. A shrat is a living tree. A being of bark and wood, with a mind truly alien. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Okay. <sighs> After you and your party killed half of them, the villagers finally submitted. A white flag was raised and they offered parley, which you were happy to grant. In a single line, they walked out to the town square where they... Listen to the new music, guys. Where they had been holding a festival. Jewels and treasures filled their arms, and they dumped the goods where you stood. It boot atop the smashed skull of their mayor. Okay, your vanguard of uh, Skalag, Guder, and Eird, and Eird the Defile. Oh, there's two of them. The Defiler kept careful watch of the ceremony like buzzards, watching a slow death. The last in line was a monk who had or he had no gold or silver on him, but instead spoke to you, his words immediately drawing the weapons of your fellow raiders. You allowed him to speak, and he spoke at length about the old gods and how the treasures of the heavens superseded all of that which Terra could offer. He told him his death was written by that wagging chin of his. The monk pursed his lips. All right, then if you want gold, depart these silly games. This raiding and pillaging, it is all worthless compared to the treasures of the south. The nobles won't have you in their armies, but they are forever in need of mercenaries and rarely have the time or luxury of choosing where these hired fighters come from. You'd make all the crowns you'd ever want. Come south, raiders, and be sublimated into sellswords. That guy demands the monk's head, but you stay the execution. Instead, you take the crafty monk at his word. You've long heard of southern riches and the travels of adventurous swords for hire. You decide to venture south so long as the monk comes with. Eh, our boy protests, but you won't have it. If this pale little crap of a monk is your lucky charm to a new life, then it would be a front to the old gods to leave him be. The raider storms off, but Skalag, Guder, and the Defiler have no qualms about following you. The rest of the war party returns north. A split in the loot being made, what remains of the village is left behind to recover rebuild, and make new goods for stronger tribes to come and take for themselves. Okay. Um, yeah. I suppose we should start naming some peeps. Do we have anybody who is ranged inclined? We got melee, melee, and melee. Oh, and the monk, yeah, the monk joins us too. And these are the uh, things that we snag, huh? Alright, so oh we, we got a we got a warhound already. That one looks grizzled and like ready for ready for combat. Oh, we can even level up our boys to start with and we have our monk. Okay, well uh, I'm looking over at my list. I think our monk we're gonna name first. Alright, we're gonna name it Mercius. 
the Merciful, and there was actually, and ironically, uh, two people that wanted to be the Merciful. Merciful. And, well, I've chosen one of those for now. There may be more coming. I really want to play the Peasant Campaign. It looks so cool. Alright, and then we have a whole bunch of other folks. I think... I mean, they're just, they're just so rugged. Look at them. They're just... Alright. So I'm going to go with uh, the guy who had uh, taught me how to say things, because I read them once and never looked back. And that is Raphael Perry, the beardy man himself. The beardy man. And, yes, he taught me how to say, oh gosh, Scramasax, as opposed to Scarsamax or something, whatever I used to say, because I, I glanced at it, assumed what it said, and it was totally wrong. And I drove a lot of people insane that way, and that's okay. This looks like a Seamus to me. So we're going to go with good old Seamus. And he wanted to be the lecher. We're going to have to make him the lecturer because, you know, we're, we're a lecturer. Let's keep going. Because, you know, we got to keep things clean. That's what we do. So enjoy the uh, <clears throat> the downgrade or the upgrade, depending on how you look at it. And we have the defiler. So does anybody have just a name? Nope. Alright, so we're going to go with my next in line, and I believe it was going to be, hmm, I, and I'm not going to do that one because it, it doesn't fit. So, the next in line after that, sorry guys and gals, there was actually a, a fairly, there was a fairly decent amount of people that uh, signed up, which was surprising and, and encouraging. So I thank you guys for signing up. Now, if I don't end up getting to your names throughout the series, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you may get thrown into this stream. So I'll use you guys either in this or in the live stream when I do start streaming on Twitch. I have no idea when that's going to be. So just kind of ear to the ground. I'll try to post a video before I go live and all that stuff. So, and if I do decide on a date and a time, I'll let you guys know that ahead of time as well. So, that being said, a leather headband. What are these things? A bit better. All right, we're going to throw this on you. Even though it's not going to be you for long, it's it's fine. All right, and we're going to put the headband on you. Hide your... All right, didn't hide anything. I was going to say hide your bald head, but that's fine. All right, so what do we have here? We have the barbarian background, a sturdy warrior. Raphael Perry has been through many campaigns of raiding and pillaging. Although a man of few words, the raider is an absolute vicious specimen in battle. Even for a raider, what he does to defeat villagers irks many. It is likely he came with you to satiate his more sadistic lusts. Okay, do you have the same thing? No. He was a boy taken from a southern village and raised amongst barbarians of the wastes. While he learned the language and culture, he never fit in and was a constant victim of cruel jokes and games. You're not sure if he's followed you to return home or to get away from his northern family. And finally, and we'll go back and we'll just kind of glance over what the other things are. Raiders take, uh... Barbarian raiders often take from foreign lands to them. Most of their, their raids as a matter of material and women, but occasionally they enslave formidable boys with great potential. Foster, a northerner, was such a child, he was raised to be a raider himself. Half his life was with his primitive clan, and the other half with those who took him. This made him as hardy and brutish as a warrior can get. As brutish as a warrior as one can get, it's fine. Okay, so this is the only guy who doesn't seem to have like the most horrible background, but he's like some sort of horrible, sadistic, evil person. So, you know, there's that. Alright, we got double grip. Wait, is this a single one-handed? An axe hammer. It's, it is a one-handed. I thought that was a two-handed weapon. Interesting. A massive, rusty hybrid of hammer and axe. That's cool. More former than the latter because the edge is blunted. What is this thing? The blunt cleaver. Okay, well, we, we have what we have. We should probably rank these dudes up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. I, I messed up in my leveling up. I got the wrong skill for the wrong person, so I decided I was going to restart the campaign right away because I'm dumb. So here we are. Everybody's been renamed. We're back to where we were before we left, except we don't have the same monk we had before. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta rename the monk. That's what I forgot. 
So I did redo the same map seed, by the way, so that should be the same. I, I apologize. It was just a misclick. I meant to click on Colossus, and I clicked on the Crippling Wounds thing. Merciful. I think I, I spelled that wrong last time. I think it was the Merrickful. Yeah, actually, that's what I, I typed over on my list, too. Where's the other Merrickful? Yeah, one of them's right, one of them's wrong. Alright, so there we go. Anyway, so, uh, student uh, is going to be the first thing we do. This guy's going to be our two-handed weapon specialist. I wanted to give him Colossus. I'm not going to go with fast adaptation for the two-handed guy. I don't like that. I might get it later on, but I'm not going to do it for now. And I don't think I want Backstabber, Anticipation, no, Shield Expert, definitely not, Brawny. I'm okay with that, but we don't have any heavy armor right now. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably end up getting that down the road, but we only get two for right now. Alright, let's do the stat upgrades. So we got Boom, we got Boom, and of course HP. Uh, okay, there's one. Let's see, a little bit more on the the old HP factor. We got two, three there. And finally, that's it. I was saying, hopefully you get one more, but I didn't think we did. All right, cool. All right, I have no idea what you're going to become yet, but we're going to start with student and fast adaptation because you're probably going to be a one-handed user of some sort. So that makes it a little bit easier. And pretty much it's going to be very similar leveling up. I mean... It's going to be melee, attack, defense, and HP for a little while. We'll get some fatigue and other stuff in there soon, so do not fret, do not fear, do not worry. We definitely need some ranged units. We are severely lacking in that. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. Three, three, three. And three, three, and four. Okay. So everybody is ranked up, leveled up, we're still here. I think maybe the topography looks a little bit different. Something was on fire up here a few seconds ago. I know this is exactly the way it was before, but it's something. Alright, so we've headed south, and... Oh boy. Almost everyone hates us. Now, I actually have no earthly idea how... How to get people to not hate us. That's a thing that I really haven't dealt with. They're barely hostile, so if we can do anything. Okay. Relations increase in working uh, successfully for factions and increase on failing to do so, betraying or attacking them. We'll trend back toward neutral. So over time, if we don't do anything hostile toward a house of Bartholin, we should be okay. It looks like Armsburg is going to take a little bit longer, but at least House Eberlin hates us a little bit less. Uh, we're going to try going here, but I think it's going to be bad. So, wish me luck, guys and gals. Are they going to even let me into the town? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can't really do anything until we get south or very far east. Wow, the map seems so much bigger than it used to. Oh my god, it's massive. Oh, wow, we're going to have a, a real hard time. Like, I feel like this is closer, but it's going to take me longer to get there. We don't have a lot of food. I guess we're going to start heading here. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll run across some bandits or something along the way. We definitely have to do something. This bad Juju Magumbo is going down. Um, how do I speed up? Ooh. Oh, the, their militia is going to come and try to kill me. I don't like that. Don't do that. Definitely. Ooh. Definitely don't do that. No. Stop it. Run like the wind, Binky. Alright, let's get back here and see what's going on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly terrified. We have very few people. A lot of people don't like us. 
Why, why did we stop moving? All right, boys, get to hustling. I feel like I should be raiding and pillaging things. Oh, I'm just a peasant. I'm gonna murder these peasants. Sorry, it's it's what I have to do. We're gonna starve if we don't do this. So the monk's not real thrilled with this as a, like a an overall like life plan here, but eh, it's okay. Do, don't I do I usually show the grid? I feel like I do, but I, I suppose I don't need to. All right, we're just going to wait it out, let them come to us. They don't seem to want to come to us. So I guess we're not going to wait it out. We're going to go to them. Oh, you got a pitchfork. Cool. Uh, I do hope that they realize that they're not going to be alive for very long. So long as they realize that, I'm okay with it. Nothing doing, huh? Step up here. Come, fight me. No? Ah, uh, they're, they're starting to gather. They're like, No, there's northern raiders attacking us. Whatever will we do? Well, you're about to find out. Not a whole heck of a lot. Alright, we wait it out. The monk waits. I think I'm going to wait with you... I'm gonna step up with you though. I'm gonna miss, step in, swing, and we just beheaded somebody. And they hit us, you know. They they, they did they did what they could. Uh, he's quite freaked out by this whole scenario. He's like, "Oh my god, you just chopped that dude's head off!" Yeah, we did. Oh, look at them getting some some hits in. Okay, I'm actually getting concerned now. Um. Up here, and oh, we swung. We didn't accomplish too much there. Uh, oh boy! Oh dear! Is it? Uh, uh, Oh, good. He freaked out. Okay. That's excellent. All right. Whoo, man. I thought for sure we were going to lose a, a group of peasants. Look how badly we just got beat. Oh, my goodness. That was awful. Did we, we got stuff, though. I mean, wow. That was rough. That was super rough. Yeah, I don't like not having any ranged units. I like having to force them to come to us. Alright, sitting and jesting with the men while they check their kit, hone their blades, and mend their armor, your mind wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the land. Uh, what is your conclusion? Should I get the company to a dozen men? We need allies. Forging a bond of friendship and trust. Uh, volunteers and more steady work. What, what does that entail? I guess we're going to do that one. Get to friendly with a civilian faction. Well, I'm certainly going to try. Oh, that was that was rough. Oh, though the brigands will end me. I cannot fight them yet. Which is awful, by the way. Just want to point out the fact that I have to run from brigands is a terrible thing. Mostly because we're terrible, weak, horribly lame people right now. Um, speaking of which, how long before you're fully healed? Light wounds in two days, and then your terrible other wounds might eventually happen at some point. Okay, well, I think you are now going to take up the, yes, I know, the mantle of, hi peasants, I am so sorry about, I will totally jump on board with this. Yeah, all right. We're all going after him. Northmen, help us. Oh, you know that we will. 
You know that we will help you. Why did you guys send your dogs in so early? That does not seem like a good plan. That seems like a bad plan. Alright, so is it you? No, it's you who is like horribly weakened. It was Raphael Perry who got whooped up on. Yeah, he's the one I got, that almost got got. I'm not sure why we're so much slower than everybody else. I mean, I suppose it's fine, but... Uh... Sure. Oh, the doggo, no! Alright. Well, I, I feel like we definitely have this in the bag, but... Will we actually get any of the kills? That I do not know. You are not going into combat. You are sitting it out, friend. This dude gets to stab up on some place. Oh, he got shot at. Oh, that's, that's okay. Hey, easy there, buddy. Can't I stab him? Yeah. Right. Oh, boo, bad monk. You just got punched in the face. Really? Eh, I mean, I mean, we did we did a little bit of damage there. Okay. I assume, like, if we manage to succeed at fighting this, things will go our way. Alright, let's step up. The pull armor is ready to, to pull arm. Ooh, he jumped up. Okay. I love how the peasants are even getting in on this. I think that's fantastic. Go, my, my furry dog. Go, Fen Fenrir. Go, get yourself some kills. You deserve it. Yeah, that's right. Just straight after the northern guy, huh? Just You just don't like nor northern, northern peeps. Fenrir. Oh, that guy died. We're not too messed up, right? No? Okay. Ah, we missed him. Don't shoot, don't shoot. No, 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 no. Okay. So this is my kill. You're not taking it from me. Yeah, you're probably gonna take that one from me, though. Oh! oh okay. Did he try to run? Is that what happened? I feel like I got that kill. Man, they're just brutal. Usually tells you something on the ground. Oh, I did get a wound. Curses. Yeah, apparently we're not really made for this mercenary work, it looks like. We were getting kind of whooped up on. A little bit of booty whooping going our way. We were being handed our marching papers, as they say. I don't know who says that. I don't even know what that means. But we're kind of out of time for the episode, so we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. It's a it's a bad start. Oh, but our doggo at least killed one guy for real. So we got zero kills across the board. We managed to get a stick and a blotched gambeson as a reward, which is probably better than what we have. So we'll see. Um, that was painful. That was unsatisfying. I didn't enjoy it. What are we what are we using? Oh, our scrap metal armor is slightly less terrible than I expected. And yeah. Okay, what is this? Hide in bone armor. Well, guess what? You're using this. Which might be a mistake, because I don't know how many tools and supplies we have, but... It is what it... You know what? Mm, yeah. You know... Uh, keep him in this for now. Alright, we're gonna head down to the town, hopefully, without any more uh, horrible awfulness coming to kill us. 
and uh, maybe we can recover from our wounds. I mean, we have a fair amount of money, or at least we did. And did we make it to the first town? Nope, it's nighttime, because of course it is. And nothing's even open. So we're going to camp out here. Is it tea to camp? It is. We're going to camp out here until the night passes. And it is dawn. It is a new day. Contracts are locked. Only contracts by the noble house. All right, that's fine. We have an armor, we have a weaponsmith, and we have a marketplace. So this is going to be where we kick off our adventure in the next episode. I will probably post two today. And then I'm not sure what the schedule is going to be like for the future episodes. But there will definitely be more to come. The season will continue. And look for a like giant influx of the end of the Gustus' adventure over the next week or so. Hopefully I can get through all that. And by the time the 9th is out, we'll only be focusing on this one. By the time the 9th is out. That is amazing phrasing there, guys and gals. Amazing phrasing. That's my name. Eh? Now, by the time May 9th rolls around and the game is out. We should be able to do that. Anyway, that's it for now. If you guys want more information, look down below. I have links to everything. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like it, of course. That means common sense, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Tons of other Battle Brothers stuff from the past. There's going to be Battle Brothers stuff in the future. And, yeah, things. Until the next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>